Welcome back to an extended sports block. Tomorrow marks an historic event for Notre Dame. The Irish will take on Boston College in one of sports' most iconic venues, Fenway Park. Pete Byrne and Carl Deffenbaugh have more on what it took to make a game in Beantown possible. Greetings from Fenway Park. Pete Byrne and Carl Deffenbaugh anchoring our coverage tonight from Boston, the site of the Shamrock Series. And Carl, we've been to a lot of venues over the years and seen a lot of really big Notre Dame football games. But I got to say, being in this stadium right now in front of the Boston Monster, this is about as cool as it gets. It doesn't get better than this, Pete. There are so many unique things they've done to cater this baseball cathedral into a football stadium. You see the scoreboard behind us. Instead of scores from around baseball, you have the top 25, as this is a very important game, of course, Certainly. for Notre Dame. So many other tweaks that we'll get to over our coverage. Yeah, and obviously, uh, turning a baseball stadium into a surface built for football takes an awful lot of work, and that's something you found out firsthand earlier today. Yeah, we spoke to the head groundskeeper for the Red Sox, Dave Meller. His team of about a dozen people have been working on this project since the beginning of the month. They had to physically dig out the pitching mound, which you might not think about, <laughs> roll in a ton of sod to cover the infield. It's been a lot of work over the past few weeks, but something he believes will pay off for a truly memorable experience tomorrow night. It's certainly a lot of work. I couldn't be prouder of, of my crew and all the vendors who have helped us. It's a lot of attention to detail. Um, we're excited to have Notre Dame and BC here. You know, the best part of my job is helping people create memories and being part of that team behind the scenes. You know, I think it's going to be unique. The, the aura of Fenway, there's definitely a magic to that. You put the tradition and history of Notre Dame with Boston College. I think there's going to be a lot of special memories. The game here tomorrow night will be the first football game played in Fenway Park since 1968, but it's not going to be the last. They're actually bringing in high school teams to play over the Thanksgiving holiday and take advantage of this truly unique atmosphere. Certainly going to be an awesome opportunity for those high school kids that get to come here in this iconic venue and play a football game. But it's also going to be very cool for the Notre Dame football players, something that we're going to talk a lot more about tomorrow afternoon on our pregame special, Shipping Up to Boston. We're going to have a whole lot more with Fighting Irish players that you can watch. Plus, we'll take a look inside the Notre Dame clubhouse, which they are sharing with the Boston Red Sox this weekend. They're in the home clubhouse. And a whole bunch more here from Fenway Park as we continue to show you all the different things they did to turn this iconic baseball venue into the home of the Fighting Irish football team for the course of a weekend. That's going to wrap up our coverage here tonight from Fenway Park. For Carl Deffenbaugh, I'm Pete Byrne. But again, we look forward to bringing you lots more coverage here as the Irish ship up to Boston tomorrow afternoon on WSBT.